So LIBOR is aimed to represent the interbank lending rate. There is around $350 trillion of derivatives and products linked to LIBOR. So that's mortgages, interest rates, derivatives, a huge variety of things. At the time of the financial crisis, banks started to realize that I don't actually want to lend money on a three months basis to any counterparty because that counterparty might no longer exist. Equally, it is a process which opens the door for fraud because financial institutions do have a much bigger exposure on the derivative side than on the LIBOR fixing itself. LIBOR is going to be discontinued in 2021. At the moment, a lot of clients haven't worked out how to transition away from LIBOR to a new benchmark. We've now come to a point where financial oversight in a variety of countries have made proposals, have published timelines with LIBOR being replaced by alternative benchmarks. Uh, the US, for example, has released that it will be SOFRA, the EU has said it will be ESTA, but some of these aren't really quoted in the same way that LIBOR has been. There are many key difficulties with this replacement process. First off, you have contracts in place which do reference a LIBOR setting process. It's a huge amount of work to do and I think a lot of it is going to be on the legal side, so especially around ISDA definitions and how they're going to translate between one and the other. If it's two financial institutions, you have a contract at least with sort of two educated counterparties, but you also have LIBOR-based contracts with retail investors. Any type of floating lending activity is usually based on LIBOR rates. The other big challenge is the operational challenge. LIBOR is uh, what we term a forward-looking rate, so one of the benefits of it is that you know what your cash flow out is going to be. This makes it really easy for cash flow and liquidity management. The new benchmarks are backward-looking and this causes an issue. You aren't going to know until that date what that cash flow is. So that's the operational challenge. And then you, have the, then you have the evaluation challenge and you have the risk management challenge. If you're not prepared, you're prepared to fail. People are going to have to change how they value their products and that requires work and it requires time and potentially even new technology. The FCA have said inertia remains the biggest obstacle to a smooth transition and FinCAD is set up to allow for a smooth transition. 